What are you doing? <laughs> Welcome back to Alleyways, or if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And if you haven't already, please, please, please make sure to join the Alleyways family. Subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and turn on post notifications so you know when I have new content. Well, we woke up bright and early this morning because we had a special guest spend the night. How did you sleep? Good. She, she, and tell them what you dreamed about. Oh, snored. Um, um. You dreamed about? Elmo. She dreamed about <laughs> Elmo coming to see her. Can you believe that? You're the most special girl in the world to get Elmo to come tuck you in. Hey, did he sing to you last night? Mm -hmm. No, he didn't. They sang songs together with his friends. Yeah. You danced together too, didn't you? And I like the sound that they make. Elmo makes a little laughing sound. And then tell him what we're gonna do for breakfast. What do you wanna do? I'm barefoot by the sea. Barefoot by the sea, let's go. So we, every night are like, oh, we're gonna go to bed early so we can get up early tomorrow. But we didn't go to bed till like 11.30. And then the guys got up about 6.45 and walked down to Princess Alexandra National Park and they saw more sea turtles. Can y'all believe that? It is amazing. Uh, they saw a lot more cool fish. They didn't take the GoPro, they forgot, but that's okay because we're gonna go back. And then also, um, I decided just to kind of get up around, uh, I guess 7.20 and I did a workout in the room and tried to be really quiet because Evangeline was still sleeping and she slept with her Abby Canabby. She loves it so much, you guys. The tuck in, if you're just like popping into this video and you're not watching them in order, go watch last night, her Elmo tuck in. It was the cutest thing. So here you can do a special add on where one of the characters will come to your room at night and tuck your little one in. And she's still talking about it, but. Uh, I think that Barefoot by the Sea was on a long wait, so looks like now our plan is to go to Bayside, which haven't done a Bayside breakfast in a long time. Um, it's traditionally a buffet during COVID. They had a uh, seated breakfast with a menu, but let's go check it out and see how it looks. Here is a look at Bayside. So to start off, we have some cereal. We've got Cheerios and Corn Flakes, obviously 2% whole milk. We've got fresh fruit offerings right here. Wow, that looks gorgeous. Look at the papaya, honeydew. And then there is fresh cheese and cold cuts as well as yogurt right there in the middle. And then over here, there looks like a little kind of pastry island. So we got cinnamon rolls, a raspberry danish, which I heard from my friends yesterday that I met from Tampa that the raspberry danish is great in the morning. There's a cheese danish. This kind of looks like, I suspect it might be banana bread. Yes, it is and then plain croissants, an apple danish, and a chocolate chip muffin. It says, that looks like another apple danish to me though. Old salmon, capers, lemon, tomato, onion. Uh, here is just kind of like jellies, peanut butter, honey, cream cheese, and then right here is bagels, English muffin, toast, and a toaster. I think over here is kind of like typical hot selection like sausage, it looks like sausage, and bacon scrambled eggs, steamed grits, oh and mixed grill back in the back, then hash browns right here, let's see what their hash browns, okay good, little fried hash browns, and then right here, french toast, oh my goodness that looks delicious, and pancakes, and I think we have a customer that's really going to want some pancakes. Then we've got syrup and then fixings here. So white chocolate chips, golden raisins, regular chocolate chips, powdered sugar, brown sugar, and I think right here is some oatmeal. So let's go make a plate and see how it is. And this is the real reason you come to Bayside. The food is good, it's fine. I think some of the seated options are probably better, but look at these views. Gorgeous. There's enough shade because there's a pergola overhead, but they also have umbrellas underneath. So I'll let you know if it's too hot or, uh, you know, kind of how it does temperature wise. 
Okay, so I got a good selection of fruit, eggs, bacon, a hash brown, and then I made a little oatmeal sampler. Let's go try it. Okay, overall I was impressed with breakfast at Bayside. We had a really great server. He was so sweet. And one thing I wanted to share with you guys is that if you go to Bayside and you don't want something on the buffet, at the table you can order like an omelet, poached eggs, fried eggs, um, any like eggs any kind of way you want them from the kitchen and they'll try and accommodate that for you. I didn't ask about other things that they could do in the kitchen outside of eggs, but it's always just worth asking if you're there and you don't see something that really speaks to you to see if they could make it. Um, the view was beautiful. It was really hot this morning and really still, but the shade was really nice. The shade felt great. Um, so I could definitely recommend Bayside just for quick, simple breakfast. And I have to say, just go knowing it's going to be pretty like typical buffet food, but it's clean and it tastes good and you can get you know, a decent amount of options. So now we came out to the Key West Village family pool and are just taking it easy. We're all tired. Hunter's next to me and he has a reason to be tired. He got up early and went and snorkeled, but we're just relaxing now. Evangeline's playing in the pool and it's so, so nice. So I'm gonna go take it easy for a little bit. And then today there's the loyalty lunch at Schooners. That's every Wednesday uh, for returning guests. And it's always nice and they give out kind of like little goodies and things like that. And there's usually a buffet that's pretty decent. And then I don't know what else we're gonna do. I know we talked about if the flag was green today, paddle boarding, because you know we love paddle boarding and kayaking, doing some of the water sports. If you are new and you haven't watched any previous vlogs or don't know anything about beaches, you can, for the, you know, just the included price of your vacation, do Hobie Cat, kayak, paddle board, water trike, and uh, wind surfing. I think that's all. They also have a dive shop that I'm going to go and cover. I'm going to cover the kids club and also the spa. So stay tuned and kind of check out all the blogs because I'm going to give out a lot of information about all of those services that they offer here. But for now, I just got to do a little relaxing. Okay, we went and took photos, water aerobics. Now we got a chunky monkey from the bar, or some people call it a dirty banana. And it's, uh, there's a lot of names for it, but it's just a banana and chocolate drink. And then we got a frozen mojito, which is one of my all time favorite drinks to get here. So tasty and so refreshing, especially on a day like today where it's so hot and somebody is back playing in the pool, having the time of her life. Okay, so we have been hanging out, playing in the pool, having a great time. Now the Schooner's loyalty lunch is happening. So be aware, on the day that Schooner's loyalty lunch is happening, it is usually not open for breakfast. That's Wednesdays. You're free to check. But I would just try to plan my Schooner's lunch around the loyalty, or Schooner's breakfast, I'm sorry, I should say, around the loyalty lunch, uh, because I don't think it's open. Now the loyalty lunch is a unique offering. It's not a buffet like anywhere else on the property. It's gonna kind of give you something a little bit different, and the food is usually really, really good. So some of our people, <laughs> Meredith, Hunter, Courtney, George, and Evangeline, were not quite ready to leave the pool. They all, um, wanted to just kind of hang back and relax for a little bit longer. So what we're doing, I came over to order some pizzas. We're gonna pop in the loyalty lunch because you do get a free gift. There's bingo, there's prizes, there's lots of fun things to do. So they're going to go in, check out the loyalty lunch, I'll join them, but then I'm gonna put an order in for pizza that we'll come back and pick up after the loyalty lunch. And it's gonna be a big order, so let's go. All right, so here's a look at the menu at Bella Napoli. Of course I had to come to Bella Napoli because I have my favorite pizza and I ordered 
13 pizzas, you guys. I got a formaggio, uh, a ma margarita, the calabrese. I got a meat lover. I got the calzone, pizza bites, two of the aglio. That's my favorite. The garlic cream cheese, mozzarella, garlic confit, parmesan, and parsley. It's amazing. I got one of the ones with Jamaican jerk chicken to try. Of course, a sweet calzone, a veggie, and a barbecue chicken, which is Hunter's favorite. You just cannot go wrong with Bella Napoli for lunch, for a snack, for dinner. It's always good. There is a little area right outside of Bella Napoli where you can sit and enjoy your pizza in the sun. There's a couple umbrellas. We usually take it back to our room to cool off. And then I just want to show you guys because it is so cute. Look at where they make them. And they make them all to order. Okay, and they've got chocolate chip cookies, pizza, and then a lot of Parmesan cheese up here, and I think some pizza sauce, things you can take to go, just some accoutrement for your pizza. They have a pop-up over here in the Caribbean Village, a wing station. So I've got to get some because uh, we love wings, and the wings here are good. Let's go take a look at them. So we've got celery and carrots, ranch, different wing sauces to pick from, and a whole bunch of wings. This looks amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's look at what is available at the loyalty lunch. We got french fries and chicken nuggets. The chicken nuggets here are bomb. They taste just like McDonald's, which I personally love. Ooh, pizza slices. That's a new one on me. Didn't see that last year. We got green peas and corn. Good for the kids to have some veggies. Kids macaroni and cheese. So I must have started at the kids station. And then over here, we have a salad bar. So you can see there's different veggie bases and then veggies you can add on top. There's dress things and cheese there's croutons we've got a uh, cocktail shrimp that you can do here and then different cold pre-made salads like a tomato salad coleslaw and a penne pasta I had this penne pasta salad last year and it was delicious oh excuse me sorry and then here are some of the toppings for salad olives which I love the dill pickles here are amazing we've got cheese green beans chickpeas beets and olives let's see oh I see something I like it's the dessert table so I'm just gonna do a little round so y'all can see kind of what they look like. Last year, we got several of these and they all were absolutely delicious. So let's move our way around this way. And just peek. Oh, a coconut roll, might have to try that. Red velvet cake, a brownie cheesecake. Oh, this is called omali, it looks good. I don't know what that is. Now this, <gasps> Okay, whatever that is, I'm gonna have to get some. Looks like a German chocolate cookies, sinful chocolate. So if you can't not get it at um, Sapodillas, try getting it here. This looks like some kind of layered cake, a baked lemon tartlet, more fruit tarts. And then over here, there's like an assortment of fresh fruit. Hey Henry, how are you? Good. We've got fresh fruit over here. And then this looks like just like some veggies, a stuffed tomato. And then let's see what's around here. Oh, okay. This looks like just cold roasted veggies. I remember having the broccoli last year and it being absolutely delicious. And now we only have one station left. But as you guys can see, there's lots of choices. The food at the loyalty lunch is always good. Chicken marsala. We got sauteed shrimp. And this must be mashed potatoes, olive oil and Parmesan mashed potatoes. Wow, that looks delicious. And then right here, a fish. So really good choices at the loyalty lunch. And it's fun to get to come to schooners at lunch because this is the only time that you can get schooners at lunch is if you're a loyalty member. Otherwise, it's just breakfast and dinner. Okay, so here is the little gift that they gave mom when she went up for being emerald status. How cute is that?
goodness, you guys, now look, they've got a snow cone pop up. <gasps> How cute is that? You can get fruit punch, uh, cherry, or is this champagne? I think it is, champagne, oh, cola champagne. They've got juices and you can make them boozy if you want. All these little pop-ups are really adding a lot. And I got some scoop for you guys. So I was speaking to one of the people that works in PR here, one of our friends, and they're saying the construction wall I showed you guys just outside of Schooners in the Caribbean village is actually the area where the jerk shack is being moved to. So we were so sad to see that the jerk shack was temporarily closed while we're here because we love going. But Treasure Beach construction has started, so a whole new village is being built down that way. So the jerk shack is being moved to a more central location here, and it's going to be in a food truck right by the ocean. It sounds like it is going to be so, so cool. So I love that Beaches is always looking for new ways to improve and add on, just like these little stations. It's, it just makes it really nice, and every time you come back, there's a little something different. Pop, pop. <laughs> It's pizza time. It's pizza time, Pop Pop. It's pizza time in Turks and Caicos. <laughs> the best time. Okay, so here's the construction wall that I was telling you guys about. So there's the Italian village, here's Schooners, the Caribbean village. This is going to be a little place right here, right by the ocean for the jerk shack. How amazing is that going to be? And as always, like I always tell you guys, I love the landscaping here. How gorgeous. Okay, so here's our feast. We got calzone. This is the jerk chicken with mango, that looks like meat lovers, margarita, margarita, dessert calzone, pizza dough bites, which are supposed to come with sauce but didn't, but that's okay. Ooh, this that one was good. garlic, my favorite, another garlic. Cheese. Plain cheese for Meredith and Smangy. This one is our veggie, which everybody loves veggie. This one is barbecue chicken, which Hunter loves. And then we've got a classic pepperoni. Oh, Let's wow. eat. Looking a little crazy, don't mind the mascara from last night. But not only is the garlic as good as I remember, I think it might be better. So I'm gonna give you guys a close up so you can see like the garlic cream cheese, roasted garlic. It's just mm, perfection. Somebody came back from the ocean and is having pizza. Pop Pop's feeding her and some apple juice. You like the cheese pizza? Yeah. yeah. I like cake. Oh, you need no cake? cake? No cake to eat pizza, kid. Yeah, get your pizza, then we'll have some cake. So, yeah. All right, we just had Pizza Palooza. There's literally red pepper on my camera right now. Which one was your favorite? Occupational hazard. Yeah. Uh, mine was, man, actually one that I had this time that was new for me was the jerk chicken and mango. Yes. And it had some kind of like Caribbean spice on it. It was really good. So do you think that's like 1A, 1B with the barbecue chicken then? Yeah, yeah, the barbecue chicken's really good and I like that barbecue sauce that they use as the base. Is awesome. That's delicious. Yeah. Let's see, let's poll everybody. Okay. I think the jerk chicken one is gonna be up there for a lot of people. Yeah. For me, the garlic can't be stopped. It yeah, can't be stopped. Yeah, the garlic is tremendous. It is, it's always good. Mm -hmm. It's always good. Okay, what was your favorite pizza? Veggie. Veggie? Mm -hmm. It's really good. It has so many vegetables on it. And today they went crazy and did extra veggies. Mm -hmm. The chocolate chip cookies were good too. What was your favorite pizza? My favorite pizza was the bite of the garlic pizza that had the garlic on top of it. Yeah, the, they had little cloves of roasted garlic that are so good. If you or, that, yes, or the jerk chicken was good. That was popular. Yeah. What was your favorite meal? Um, chocolate chip. Uh, the pizza. Yeah, and you liked the pizza? cheese, didn't you? Uh-huh. You did good on that. What was your favorite? I think the barbecue chicken. The barbecue chicken. That was really good. That's a good choice. Okay, what was your favorite pizza? My favorite was probably the pepperoni calzone, but mm -hmm. after that, garlic. It was delicious. <laughs> a girl after my own home. That's right. Mm -hmm. We reapplied our sunscreen after lunch. It's about 2.45, actually. Um, it is so hot today that we took like a nice long lunch inside. And now we're gonna go get a coffee up in the French Village and tear it up in the water park. Then I'm thinking of taking you guys to show you the spas here and let you guys know about some of the services that they have in case you're interested in booking while you're here. Uh, at Meredith and Hunter had a great massage and Courtney and George. I've had a massage here in the past and it's been great, but they've got just like gorgeous facilities 
and great treatments and what better time to do that when you're on vacation. Okay, so if you get pictures while you're on vacation, you will come up here to the Italian village in between the Italian village entrance and the water park to come to snapshots to purchase them. And then right across the way, there's also confetti which is a candy store and a kind of Build-A-Bear workshop, which is really cool. So you can go and build your own Elmo and things. And all of you who love the surf simulator will be pleased to know it is still going strong. So you can bodyboard some days, you can do upright surfing some days. It is a blast.
Okay, so on Wednesdays, out front of the Caribbean Village, local vendors come in with different souvenirs and kind of set up just like a little shop in these tents. And it's a good place to just kind of get like cheap little souvenirs. And it's fun to look. We found something that we wanted. Look, I'm, I'm in a tunnel under the property right now. And we found something we wanted up at that shop, but they're closing in like 15 minutes. So if you have a really long ten seven minutes up. so if you have a really long walk on property and you just can't make it you can always go into like the nearest lobby and ask for a golf cart to take you and they can take you from village to village just because there is a lot of walking or of course if it's like needs based they're happy to accommodate for that as well so if you're looking out of the Caribbean village lobby there's the market that will be there during the day and afternoon on Wednesdays and then we have a hall that I'll show you guys when you get back to the room then there's a new bus system. It does not go to the QS Village. It goes from the Caribbean to French to Italian every 10 minutes. However, if you are like us and you're staying in QS, you can always go get an attendant to call for a golf cart for you, which we've done again because um, it is extremely hot and uh, we're being lazy. But how cool. Good to know. We got back to the room at about five and now we're getting cleaned up. It is a gorgeous sunset outside as you can see. We're like extra tired. We went crazy at the water park and then I went and like filmed a little bit of the spa for you guys. We shopped at the Caribbean Village. I ate some leftover pizza. But one of our favorite things to do is just like get in the robes that they have in the room, get a fresh Coke or Sprite or Diet Coke in Meredith's case and drink it while you get your makeup on, while you get ready for dinner. It's just like one of my favorite parts of vacation. Let's go get ready. All right, just like that, we are ready for dinner. We just took just it like that. real slow. Just like that. Just like that. SpongeBob time card two hours later. We took it really slow, I feel like, getting ready, and it was nice. It was super nice. This is tonight's outfit. It's another Amazon outfit, but it's just kind of like a little orange linen crisscross wrap jumpsuit with super long, wide leg pants. I'll have pictures on Instagram. Uh, and everywhere else, but we're so excited for dinner at Sapodias. It's in 30 minutes, so we're gonna try and like walk up there and get pictures along the way. Can y'all hear the wedding outside? Yes, that's outside of our room. Not in here, outside. So I'll let you guys know if they have like a quiet hour that they institute or if it goes late, because if it goes late, poor Bubba, who's sleeping on the sleeper sofa, is not gonna get much sleep. Okay, here's a look inside of Sapodillas. Like I said, it's just like normal, like regular, but still beautiful. And I always get great service here, great food. So I'm so excited because I look forward to this dinner all year. So here's a look at a Sapodillas menu. This is Caribbean sophistication adults only. So we got our appetizers. It looks like things have not changed. You all know I love the warm grilled prawn and noodle salad. It's my absolute favorite. And then here's our entrees. As always, I'm gonna go slow so you can pause and screenshot. But for me here, it's all about the steak. Beef tenderloin, no question. But the desserts here, cannot be beat. Sinful chocolate with cinnamon ice cream, I think about constantly. We have our bread here at Sapodillas or Sapodillas. I don't know, people say it differently. Y'all tell me how y'all say it in the comments down below. We got bread and then butter and then cream cheese blended with red pepper. Looks delicious. I went crazy ordering. I got calamari and warm prawn and noodle salad. I got Caribbean couscous and I got the steak and I got coconut and also simple chocolate. 
We just talked to the loveliest people at the table next to us and they recommended butternut squash soup. They said it's delicious, so we got one to try. Also, here is my noodle and prawn salad, which always looks good. And I'm so excited to have it. Oh my gosh, you guys. We just had the loveliest people at the table next to us who were so friendly. They're from Montreal and they stopped and gave us recommendations. Meredith reminded me that I already said that. Yes, I already said that. But they were like, you have to try the butternut squash soup. It's so delicious. Just get it as another appetizer. And so we got it. I don't even, I've never had butternut squash soup. You guys, this is the star of the show. I like it better than my warm noodle and prawn salad. It's amazing. Hunter said it feels like a hug and it's so accurate. It is so delicious and so flavorful. The flavor is really complex. It's just so satisfying. So new hot tip on, on Sapodilla is there. Butternut squash soup, delicious. Here's the Caribbean couscous with chicken. You can get it without and it would still be, I think, really wonderful. And here is my filet, a steak I think about regularly. How gorgeous does that look? I have to say, Beaches does a great job with the plating. Okay, the steak, unreal. The couscous, incredible. And now, desserts here. So I got the coconut custard, which looks like a creme brulee, which our table neighbor said was incredible. And of course, simple chocolate, the best dessert ever at Beaches. First 10 out of 10, wouldn't you say, Mir? Yeah. 10 out of 10, delicious. Service, great. Amazing. The they butternut were... squash soup was so good. And the, I said the dessert's the best one I've ever had on the property. Both of those desserts are so deadly. They are killers, straight killers. And the butternut squash soup, I have never had it. And I'm not like this about a lot of foods, but like, I don't know why I'm like, oh, butternut squash soup, not something I've ever sought out. And then the art table makes just I thought it so tasted nice. like a really flavorful potato soup. Yeah, I can definitely see that. It was just so good. And I said, can you imagine having this on a fall day, watching Harry Potter? With some pumpkin seeds in it. Oh, it was so good. Yeah. And then after dinner, we came back to the house and changed clothes. And then Evangeline came over to visit for just a few minutes, but she was so tired. It was pitiful. She was yawning and she was talking about the different birds she saw. She, what, did, what was that one? She, I forget the name. I don't she know. Was it was like, like a night hair, night, a yellow night hair or something. I shot a yellow beak night hair and, and she was so proud about it. And then we went on a walk around the property and now we are exhausted. So we're going to go to sleep, but we'll see you guys for another action packed we'll day see. tomorrow. We love you guys. Bye.